welcome to another episode of Boring History. My name is Angela and today I thought, considering the media coverage that toilet paper seems to be getting recently, why not have a look at the history of this very precious commodity? Now before its invention we see a range of different cleaning, wiping or cleansing methods utilised around the world. For example, in ancient Rome, the commoners would use a moist sponge at the end of a stick, whilst the nobility preferred the luxury of wool and rose water. In England during the Middle Ages, things such as hay balls were used, in Hawaii, coconut husk, and in French, well, the nobles were very particular and requested nothing less than lace. British lords used pages of books, and similarly in the USA, old... That is a child. Excuse me. British lords would use pages from books, and similarly in the USA, old newspaper and telephone directories were used. Funnily enough, a small newspaper in Australia called NT News actually recently included an eight-page lift-out with a cut-out guide that you could use to make your own toilet paper if you happen to find yourself short. Anyway, on to the actual invention of toilet paper. As I'm sure you can infer, the invention of toilet paper required the invention of paper. The precise date for the invention of paper is unknown. Some historians think that it was around the first century AD, whereas others argue that it was much earlier. For the purpose of this video, it will suffice to say that its invention is credited to the Chinese. The recipe, should you be inclined to make some yourself, was as follows. Combine rags, tree bark, hemp, boil the mixture until you got a pulp. Once you had that pulp, spread it out to dry and voila, you had a cheap and effective means of creating paper. And this was an extremely cheap method of manufacture, in particular when you compare it to the West, where they were still using things such as silk to write on. The transition from normal paper, or at least what would have been considered normal paper back then, into a type of toilet paper is... Bibby! The transition from normal paper, or at least what would have been considered normal paper, to a type of toilet paper is thought to have occurred towards the end of the 6th century AD, again in China, when rice stalks were added to the pulpy mixture which resulted in a much softer end result. By the end of the 14th century, it's thought that close to a million packets of toilet paper were being produced in China. And in 1393, 1,720,000 sheets were manufactured for the use of the imperial court at Nanjing. An additional 15,000 sheets were made exclusively for the use of the emperor and his family. The Bureau of Imperial Supplies made sure that these sheets were extra soft and even had them perfumed. Baby? So I'm sure that we can all agree that China had a pretty impressive collection of toilet paper happening back then. A collection that hopefully at least, would surpass even the best modern day toilet paper collectors collection. Toilet paper that's closer to what we're used to wasn't actually invented until 1857 by an American named Joseph Caiety, or Caiety. Caiety. <laughs> Bibi. Looks like we're gonna be finishing off with a special guest. Anyway, so Caity named his invention therapeutic paper and it was sold in batches of 500. And very importantly, he ensured that every single sheet was printed with his name. It's all in the attention to detail. Anywho, there we have it, the wonderful history of toilet paper. I'm sure that you found this topic as fascinating as I have. Make sure to stay safe and I look forward to sharing even more boring history with you in the future. Yeah.